I'm kind of in the point where I'm deciding between a bunch of different <laughs> possible careers. How do you kind of know where you, you don't. Are? The way you really win is by recognizing that your all four of you have a substantial advantage over me, which is you're half my age. You take your advantages. Some advantages are experience. Some advantages are youth. The fact that all four of the jobs that you're thinking, that you literally can work at all four of them, you know, maybe they won't be available or things like them. Like, I want to be an architect, a sports agent in advertising and do my own startup snow cone business. You could do all four and still be 30. My 30 year old cousin Bobby, who I love very much, was eight years older than me and when I came out of school and he was the other person in the liquor store, I mean, he was old. You know, like, like 30 was like It just, I just remember, I was like, that's like a man and I'm a kid. Now being 12 years older than that, being 42, looking at you characters, uh, you know, it's funny, I smile because, you know, the, the gift that I wish I could give you is perspective. Like, first of all, most of the people that are giving you advice either love you too much or are looking backwards. They either love you too much or they're looking backwards. Loving you too much almost always manifests into defense. So your parents are almost always gonna give you the least upside advice. Almost always. Uh, and then number two, your uncle, your, 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 you have an older brother whose best friend happened to weirdly always be your mentor and he's 11 years younger. He or she is giving you advice based on 1996. And by the way, where it really gets spooky for me and where my content's been going is, you know, I think parents give advice based on how they're gonna look amongst other parents, not how happy you're gonna be. I feel like potentially based on their own regrets as well. Oh, pfft. Tremendously. Yeah. And, and, and it manifests into misery loves company. Like it's, it's very sad to sit here and say that a mother is telling a daughter to do something because she also didn't do it. Things manifest in one of two ways. You desperately push your daughter to go and do the way you didn't do it, or you subconsciously, not consciously, which is why I feel comfortable saying it, because I'm like, not like, you're a bad mom or bad dad. You subconsciously railroad them because there's a level of envy, because there's regret that is very powerful. And you were super pissed at your mom for doing it to you, and now you're doing it to your daughter. I don't know how much you guys follow, but like, I've absolutely gotten way more into these conversations because because I have a permission to do so. A lot of kids are listening to me. I can help them. I'm just not worried about your parents being upset with you for three years. It's gonna work out. What I'm worried about is what really happens which is people don't have good relationships with their parents for life.